Welcome to our lecture online. Our next example, kind of the same thing again, but it's always nice to see a few examples so we know how to do these. First of all, we'll write it as a single numerator, single denominator, and we'll factor whatever we can. So this can be written as, let's draw the entire line, let's factor this. So this can now be written as the product of two binomials. So this is equal to an x and an x. Negative there, positive there means I need two negative signs. Y squared means I need a Y and a Y, and hopefully that will give us the correct middle term, and yes, it does. And then we still have the quantity. Uh, we don't have to put parentheses around it, so we can write 2X to the fourth Y squared. In the denominator, this cannot be factored, so we write 4X cubed Y to the fourth. Now, this can be factored because it's a difference of two squares, so this can be written as X minus Y times x plus y. Now let's see what can be simplified. Well, we have an x minus y and an x minus y, so this can be simplified. We have a 2 and a 4, so 2 divided by 2 is 1, 4 divided by 2 is 2. We have an x cubed and an x to the fourth, so this becomes 1, and this becomes x to the first power. Well, I can put a little 1 there. And then we have y to the fourth, y squared, so this cancels out with this and this becomes y to the second power. Now we have simplified as much as we can. Let's see what's left over. So in the numerator, we have x to the first power times x minus 1. In the denominator, we have a 2, we have a y squared and an x plus y. So 2 times y squared times x plus y. Sometimes it's hard to figure out what you have left, so you have to be very careful. This is gone, we have an x minus y, the 2 is gone, this becomes x to the first power, and this becomes y, well this is simply a 1, so that the y squared is gone. We have a 2, we have a y squared, and we have an x plus y. So it looks like that's the final answer, and that's probably correct. That's how it's done.